All right, there we have it. 12 little boxes, production run style. They're going to be Christmas presents, if you're wondering. I thought of this as an experiment in hand tool batch production. So I guess I should draw some conclusions. And uh, yeah, it can be done and it can be fun. I had uh, the joy of gifting to motivate me this time. I really love making gifts and that kept me excited about the project despite all the repetition. But there were definitely times when I wished I was making like four boxes rather than 12. There is some efficiency to be gained from making a batch because it sort of puts you in the mindset of making jigs and uh, improving the workflow. If I was making just one box, then I would not have made the, the thickness planing jig or the that little 45 degree cradle for planing the corners of these accent pieces. So there certainly is some degree of extra efficiency in making a few, but I think uh, the sweet spot would be more like four to six for something of this uh, complexity. As for the wood species, I don't know what this main wood or this accent trim is. They're reclaimed, so you know, you don't always know what you get. Feel free to chuck your guesses below, of course, if anyone has some theories, that would be very interesting. The tops are birch burl veneer on an MDF core, the bottoms are birch plywood, and the lining on the inside is European lime. It matches the birch very closely, but it's much easier to plane for the finish, I chose to use cellulose lacquer, nitrocellulose. It was the first time I used it and I basically just followed Rob Cosman's tutorial. I'll put a link uh, to that in the description. Maybe you noticed uh, when I was spraying there was frost on the ground. Not the perfect finish spraying conditions, but the air was pretty dry and it wasn't windy. It really just made it... Uh, harder to get any pressure in the can. It was so cold, it almost didn't want to spray. But I think the actual end result turned out just fine. Oh, one more thing. Maybe you noticed during the build that I actually made a groove on the inside of the lid right here where it's now covered by the lining. Thought I should mention it. I had a, a different construction in mind from the start. Uh, I was going to put a, a floating panel in a groove in the lid and do the same thing on the bottom. I decided to not do that for two reasons. I didn't think it would be strong enough. You know, making that groove would weaken this joint a little bit and it's already not a lot of material there. So I thought I shouldn't compromise the structure in that way. And also it was a, a matter of time. I just saved a lot of time. Then I decided to do the, the lining on the inside and that probably took more time <laughs> than it would have taken to, uh, to do the floating panels. That's just how it goes sometimes. So I'm going to finish buffing these. Then I'll take some final photos, probably outside. It's nice and bright now. And uh, yeah, that's all. This one is nice. Look at that figure. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.